This is part 1.2, which is hard expanding brackets. Um, and it's the second video of two on expanding brackets or single brackets. And we're going to go on to look at the grade C questions, which ironically a lot of students find harder than the grade B ones, which are to double brackets. And the reason why is they learn how to do double brackets, they just practice, 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 but they don't understand why they're doing it or how they're doing it, they just know how to do it. Um, and then when they get given this type of question, they apply that method without understanding that it's not actually the correct method to use. So we're going to be looking at that, but before we do that, I want you to try and expand these two. And if you can't, then you need to go and watch my other video, the part 1.1, which is on the same site. Um, on expanding brackets. Okay, so try those two video and those two questions, and if you can't expand those, and I'll give you the answer in a minute, then you need to go and look at another video first. Okay, we're looking at the first one. We're going to do the first question using the simple method or the quick method which is it's three lots of everything inside this bracket or the number inside of this bracket and this bracket the number inside this bracket is made up of two terms x and minus two so we need three x three lots of the x and three lots of the negative two well three negative two is a negative six so hopefully you got that one right. Now the next question we're going to, I'm going to do using the grid method. Now this is the first one we've had three terms and this is an example of where students because they've never seen one before don't know what to do. Well we just use the idea that we've already had but instead of splitting this number into two bits it's now split into three bits. So then we need to make the grid one column bigger. Okay so the maths hasn't changed. So that's the idea is that you learn how to do the maths, you don't just learn how to do one type of question, you understand how to do more than one. So when they extend the questions, you can still cope with them in the exams. So this is going to give us 3x squared in this box. 3x times by negative 2 is going to give us negative 6x. And 3x times by a is going to give us 3ax or 3xa. Remember those are the same number and if we add these three terms together we get this answer which is as far as it can go we can't simplify this any further and you may want to go and watch part one at this stage if you haven't already done so and looking at simplifying expressions so if you can do those two questions and you're ready to go on to do the grade C questions um, this which we're going to look at now now there's two types type one and it looks like this 2 plus 6 lots of x plus 2 now a lot of students see that and they think ah oh, it's double brackets so they start doing the double bracket method they were taught but it's not if you look at the question more closely you will see that this actually if you're going to write um, speak it out with proper English or in English it's going to see you've got 2 plus 6 of lots of whatever's in this bracket so you've got 2 plus 6 of these brackets you haven't got 2 plus 6 lots of these brackets. You've got 2 and or plus 6 of these brackets. So what we need to do is expand this bracket separately. So we're going to have 2 plus and now we're going to expand that bracket. Now 6 x's are 6 x and 6 2's are 12. So you'll notice that the 2 has stayed the same but this, we've expanded the bracket to get the 6x plus 12. Now we can simplify because 2 plus 12 makes 14 so we're left with 6x plus 14. Now if you prefer at this stage you can always go uh, off and do an aside, a piece of side work which and I've got the 6x plus 12 there and then replace the 6x plus 12 with the 6 lots of x plus 2. So that's one type of question, and again, this is grade C, and a lot of students get this question wrong, whether they get the grade, grade B one right. Do another one. X plus 3 lots of X minus 4. Now, I'd like you to see if you can do that one, so pause the video. 
Okay, hopefully you got it right, but don't panic if you didn't. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to expand this bit of the bracket first, because it's going to be x plus whatever that is expanded. So, some of you like to do it straight away, some of you like to use a grid, so in this time I'm going to use a grid. Don't worry if you prefer just to do it without a grid, that's fine. Okay, so 3x take away 12 of is the answer to the bit in purple, <laughs> orange sorry, so x plus 3x minus 12, now I'm going to underline the same thing in colour so you'll see that all I've done for the first part is expanded the bracket and now I can simplify, well x plus 3x gives me 4x and then I've got 4x take away 12 so the answer is 4x take away 12, so this is type 1 one more of type 1 um, x take away two lots of x plus 6. Now you have to be careful with this one. Again, it's the negative numbers that's going to be tricky. What we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to expand the whole of this, including that negative in front of the 2. So if we're going to write it in a grid, it's going to be negative two lots of x plus 6 this time. Okay or if we're going to do it directly, we're going to do negative 2 lots of x and negative 2 lots of 6. Now, a lot of students will forget the negative 2 and get it wrong. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So negative 2 times by x gives us negative 2x, and negative 2 times by 6 is negative 12. So we get x minus 2x minus 12. And if you simplify that, you get negative x minus 12. And that is the answer. And I'll underline in orange again the bit which has been expanded. There it is. So that's the x minus 2x minus 12, which has now been simplified. Now, if you're going to get it wrong, this is what normally happens. They get the 2x plus 12 bit, and then they write it as minus 2x plus 12. Okay, now there is another way of doing it, but this is the best way for now. Um, and, but this is wrong. Okay, what you can do is go x minus 2x plus 12 and then go from there. But again, that's a more complicated way of doing it and that might be the way that we might do it at A level. Um, but at the moment, this is how the way I'd like you to think about doing it. We're just It's negative two lots of the bracket. So that's type 1. I'm going to give you a couple of type 1 to do. And then we're going to go on and look at type 2. That's question 1. and that's question two. So try those two questions. Okay, if we look at question one first, we've got a plus, now I'm going to expand the bracket directly this time, 4a minus 8, but you could have done it using a grid if you preferred. So there's the, ex there's the bit I'm going to expand, and there it is expanded, and if a plus 4a makes 5a, and then I take away 8, and I'm left with 5a take away 8. So that's question, that's answer 1, and now look at answer 2. Again, I'm going to expand it directly, so that's negative 3 times by x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times by negative 4 is 12. Now, if you didn't do negative, if you didn't do positive 12, go away and work on those negative numbers. The sooner you fix that, the better. And again, I'm going to underline that, but I'm going to use a different colour. There's the thing that I'm expanding, and there it is expanded. So I'm left with the answer negative 2x plus 12, although some mathematicians prefer to write that as 12 take away 2x, and that's the same answer. Okay, so that's type 1. You need to go and try and find some of these to practice, and if you want some of those, any of your math teachers can provide you loads of those on a sheet, I'm sure. Now, type 2, these are the other grade C questions that cause lots of students problems, but again, because they try and do um, the 
the expanding brackets you're taught for a grade B question look like this. Okay, now what that looks like is it's a double bracket, and that would have been true if that was a multiply symbol there. But that's not a multiply symbol, that's an add. So what we've got is we've got two of these brackets and three of these brackets. So two of whatever's in this bracket plus three of whatever's in this bracket. So what we're going to have to do now is expand two brackets, and I'm going to underline them in different colours so you can see what I'm doing. And now you can go away and do a grid if you like, or you can just expand them directly. In this case I'm going to expand them using a grid. So here's my grid for the first one. Now I wouldn't use a grid anymore but that doesn't mean that you can't now. And here's my expansion for the second bracket. Okay, So to continue the colour. That's that. Oh, I should have put a plus there, I do apologise and that's that. Okay, And now we're going to write down the four terms inside there, so that's the 2x plus 6 coming from the first plus the 3x take away the 6 from the second. Again, the colours, that's that one and that's that one. Now all we're doing is proper algebra, we're not doing any tricks, we're not learning to do anything um, that you can't use on other questions. So 2x's and 3x's make 5x's simplifying and 6 take away 6 makes nothing in this case. So that's the end. It's just simply 5x. So those two brackets multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 3, if you add those two together the answer is 5x. And that's a combination of the blue and the orange parts. Okay, So that's type 2. And you see that quite a lot, particularly on the foundation paper. Okay, so be wary of that question. Be, remember to think about what we're doing with two of those plus three of those. Another example, you can do this one. Okay, so you try that question. Please pause it. That's a two in front of the A. Sorry, two in front of the A. So you pause it. Okay, so we're going to expand that bracket first, and then we're going to expand the second part. See how I've underlined it, including that plus? So 3a's are 3a, 3 2's are 6. You could use a grid if you prefer. 4 times by 2a is 8a, and positive 4 times by negative 5 is negative 20. And now we're going to simplify this, and if you're finding this difficult to simplify, there is a video on simplifying simplifying expressions. So 3 plus 8a's, 3a's plus 8a's make 11a and 6 take away 20 is negative 14. So the answer is 11a take away 14. So the first part comes from there and the second part comes from there. So the type 2. Now the third example of a type 2 you've got to be careful with. It's this negative numbers issue again that you might have. So that's the third example. So again I'm going to use the grid this time. You don't have to use the grid if you don't want to as long as you get it correct without a grid. So there's the first expansion. Now look carefully here. It's negative 2. Lots of x minus 4. Okay. So this bit is the second expansion including the negative 2. And this bit is the first expansion, including the 3, or the positive 3. Because we could have always written positive in front of that 3. Okay, It's just we've dropped the positive with time, because anything without a sum symbol is positive. So 3 times by x is 3x. Three, 3 times by negative 4 is negative 12. Negative 2 times by x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times by negative 4 is positive 8. I uh, see if you got that bit wrong go and fix your negative numbers. Right now we write this out we get 3x take away the 12 take away the 2x plus the 8 and that gives us x take away 4 or x minus 4 as the answer. Okay so that's the 
grade C examples. There's two types, type 1 and type 2. Now obviously they could make questions harder. I'll, I'll leave you this one. Okay, they could do something like this. A plus 2 lots of X plus 3 plus A lots of 4 plus X or something like that. Okay, um, by the combine both types, you just got to think about it as one thing plus that expanded, plus that expanded, and then simplify. So I'll leave you a little bit of time to do that question. So pause your video. Okay, so I'm just going to do the expansion. So 2x plus 6 plus 4a plus ax. So what we've got here then is we've got this bit here, is this bit here, this bit here, is this bit here, and then this does simplify but only a little bit. Look, the a and the a, the 4a there does make 5a plus 2x plus ax plus 6. Okay, the ax and the 2x can't add together. Right. So that's the harder of the type 1 and type 2 together. But you can just use this idea and combine and you can four or five of them. All right, as usual, I will finish with four of the type 2 questions. So that four questions for you to do. So pause your video once you see the questions. So there's the questions. And here are the answers. So hopefully you got those answers correct. If not, don't forget you can come and ask for help any lunchtime. I'm in the maths office or any of the maths rooms.